Hey guys, Joel from The Cinemologist here for a little vlog about uh, a curious item which uh, is in my collection right now. It is the original motion picture soundtrack to Orca, a score done by Ennio Morricone and the specific release. This has been released a couple of times over the years, once uh, as an LP, well I think there have been a few different LP releases, one CD release which came out a while ago but had some audio issues, uh, and then um, not too long ago, it was earlier this year, uh, Alex messaged me and said, Hey, um, there's a new release of the Orca soundtrack coming out uh, from Music Box Records. It's remastered. It sounds great um, for the samples that they had put out there. And uh, basically, for me, that was something I had to rush out and get because uh, I love the score to this movie. Um, I really enjoy this movie, by the way. Uh, that's a subject for another time, but um, it is so much better than it has any right to be based on the premise. Um, we've seen this premise done poorly uh, in a certain movie called Jaws the Revenge. Yeah, this, as far as aquatic animals seeking revenge on people, um, this one has the right idea of making it more of a mythic struggle and, uh, and not really trying to base it in any sense of reality. And helping that out tremendously is the score. I, I wouldn't say this is Ennio Morricone's best score, per se, but I think it is perhaps the score that is most exemplary of why he's so great, um, because it's a movie that is elevated tremendously by his music, to such an extent that the, the whale in the movie uh, is seeking revenge. And, you know, obviously it's nature footage of whales and uh, um, an animatronic whale, uh, very convincingly done, but not very emotive. Um, but Morricone's score, more than anything else in the film, really transforms that creature into a full-blooded character. He's almost like another actor in the movie. And uh, with that being said, um, I think perhaps it's the most um, telling example of why Ennio Morricone is the maestro that he is. Uh, so anyway, long story short, great score. So like I said, Alex messaged me and said, hey, um, the Orca soundtrack just went up for sale today. It's limited to 500 copies. Um, if you want to get it, uh, you're going to have to get a jump on it because soundtrack collectors are notoriously vicious. Just buying up uh, limited releases and uh, either hoarding them or price gouging them and reselling them. So I had to g really get a jump on, uh, on this release if I wanted a copy, and I did that. Um, I... I uh, purchased it um, from Screen Archives Entertainment's website. Um, it was up in uh, two places. It was up on Music Box Records website and Screen Archives. And uh, so I ordered my copy and then uh, I went off and did some other things and then later that afternoon I checked the Screen Archives website again and the listing had disappeared. Orca was not listed on their website and I thought, wow! Um, this must have sold out ridiculously fast, which was shocking, but not overly so, because like I said, uh, it was a very limited edition, 500 copies of a, uh, an Ennio Morricone score, which is fairly well known, so um, I figured, wow, it just sold out really fast. Uh, but that was not the case, because not only did Screen Archives take off the listing for sale, the page for the soundtrack was deleted from Music Box Records' website. It was also removed, any announcement of it was removed from Music Box Records' Facebook page. So I took to the Film Score Monthly forums, where one goes to find out info about uh, soundtrack releases such as this, and it was... Um, absolutely ablaze with people asking questions about the Orca soundtrack. What happened to it? Um, where did the listings go? Uh, it's not for sale anywhere. People were really genuinely going insane on this one thread. Um, and then the thread that they were posting on disappeared from the message boards. It was just gone. And then later another thread popped up. And uh, it was um, a thread about what happened to the Orca soundtrack topic thread on the Film Score Monthly page, and also the continuing unraveling mystery about the Orca soundtrack as a whole. Uh, so, essentially, here's what happened from all the different forum posts and emails that various people received. Basically, the Orca soundtrack was pulled. It was pulled from release. I believe it's been confirmed. Um, the reason why, uh, it actually had to do with rights issues relating to some of the music. Um, it's generally theorized that uh, the vocal version of the main theme sung by Carol Connors, uh, My Love We Are One, was not cleared along with the orchestral stuff that Morricone did. So retroactively, this release became a bootleg, and people were wondering, 
you know, what does this mean? Music Box Records and Film Score uh, or and Screen Archives Entertainment have our money. We ordered this thing. Are we going to get a refund? Like, what's going to happen with this? And then packages started showing up on people's doorsteps. Uh, somebody posted on the forum saying, "Hey, uh, my Orca soundtrack came in the mail today uh, after the release had been pulled." And um, another person posted and said, "Hey, I got it too." And they were posting pictures of this, this release. Again, people just went nuts. They were like, is everybody going to get a release? Some people got um, emails back and a refund. A couple people, I think, got those. But some people actually got their CD shipped out before it was pulled. And I was wondering which one I was going to be, uh, whether I was going to be somebody who got a refund and an apology. As you can see, I got the Orca soundtrack. <laughs> Uh, so this already extremely limited edition of a great Ennio Morricone score, limited to 500 copies, became one of the rarest and strangest soundtrack collecting stories in recent history. Uh, and I got a copy, and this is one of the crown jewels of my collection for that reason. Yeah, what a, what a strange story, and I'm, I'm so happy to have it. It's a beautiful release, by the way. Uh, the previous soundtrack release, the previous CD release of this is... Um, okay, but there's definitely some noticeable hiss in the background. I believe it was pulled from an LP master. Uh, this has been beautifully remastered, and it sounds, uh, you know, and I put it on my stereo, and I don't have the best stereo in the world, but I have a pretty good one. Um, and it sounds like the orchestra is basically in the room with you. It is absolutely pristine. One of the best sounding CDs that I have, uh, soundtrack releases that I have. The only exception to that is the vocal version of the theme performed by Carol Connors. I guess they pulled it from another um, master or another um, source, and that one sounds that one sounds pretty gritty. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the vocal version. Uh, I definitely don't like it as much as the score, so it's not a big loss for me. But the score itself sounds magnificent. And I'll crack it open here so you can see inside. Got the disc, and then open it up. There's the Music Box Records. We'll go back there and pull out the booklet. You got Richard Harris on the back there, who gives a really solid performance as the, the fisherman who is in a life or death struggle with the orca. There's a really nice little essay in here, both about the film uh, and also uh, Morricone's score and why it's really good and just different aspects of it, its recording, and also the Carol Connors song, which is an interesting story in and of itself. Uh, by Daniel Schweiger. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I apologize. But it's a really nice write-up, and it's um, both very kind to the film and uh, very insightful as to the uh, score itself uh, and information about it. So, there you go, guys. If you can find a copy of this <laughs> without paying stupid money, um, because we recently checked on eBay, and uh, it's actually going for like $175 on there, but if you can find a copy of this at a record store, for a decent price, snatch this up immediately because it is a wonderful rarity. Uh, it's definitely one of the crown jewels of my collection, and uh, I'm gonna go put this away now before anything happens to it. Oh, pardon. No!